M0FXB TRD Radio H3 Plus model has new firmware version 1.0.41. We now have this very nifty spectrum scope. And I will put the instructions to use it in the description. But let's just watch this. Now it's it's scanning airband. We actually have a menu structure that we can access when we're in spectrum mode. So if we back out completely, hold down the seven, this is after you've loaded the new firmware, it goes into spectrum mode and it starts to scan, okay? Now there are buttons that change parameters, but just to show you the menu, you press the menu and you can select, let's turn it down a bit, select again and you've got AM, FM back here. The step, which does include 8.33, right down to 0 0.1, 833, 10, 12, 25, up to 100. Then we've got the threshold. Okay. Back. The cursor, the yellow line, on or off. I'm going to put on. Actually, did that wrong. Yeah, it's on, back. And keep going down, bandwidth, wide or narrow, and cursor. Is that the last one? Yeah, so we go back. now. So now there's other parameters. If we let it just scan, this is default scanning. Let's wait for it to pick something up. So, on the uh, instructions, it says here, if we press the, the arrow up and down, it moves the cursor to the left and the right. And remember, you can do this on the handbands. I'm just doing it on, showing it on airband. There you are. So the little yellow line is moving left and right. It says if we long press, it will just scroll across. See the way it's finding the activity. It's going to the activity, but if we long press, it will move the yellow line, which you can actually turn off, you know, along. It's sort of stopping at the activity. Five, three, seven, eight, okay, thank you, right, and then it Pick says the uh, star the jumps to the peak Clearance. signal. Well, the, the, the hash. Four, seven, seven, four, four. Press the hash, and it will eight, jump eight, to the last seven, strongest four, four. single Easy. signal. <laughs> um, the star makes the yellow line vanish. You don't have to have the yellow line. Bristol Tower, five, six. Bristol Tower, as you can hear. Um, press the PTT, tunes the cursor, frequency, and monitors. So remember, we can't pre we can't transmit on airband. It won't allow you. But look, it just turns off the squelch. I would say it says scan and listen here. See that? And then it says. 0 to 9 is just type the frequency like normal, so you can just type in a frequency, say 1, 4, 5, 600, that's GB3, WR. And then if someone's there, looks like they could be. Maybe. Ah, oh, we're in AM. So you go menu, modulation, Confirm. oops, do that again, menu, FM, yeah, it's done it, so... So remember, they've improved the Bluetooth functionality as well. So I'm going to be testing this on several more Bluetooth items. Um, it worked quite well anyway, um, but we'll be testing it. With, I'm going to test it in my car and pairing it with, with more phones and a, a Bluetooth speaker. Like we've got this Bluetooth speaker just here in the background that flashes. So we'll test it with that. Although it did work before, if I remember right. Um, but anyway, um, Press and hold the 2 key increases the RSSI, the 8 decreases. So if we press the 8 and hold, you'll s I'm pretty sure it's the little, yeah, it's gone down. You can't, you didn't really see that, but it's like turning down the squelch. But if you go up, look, let go. So you want really that line to be lower, so you pick up some more things. If you just be careful, you might start typing a frequency. So press and hold. You give it a bit of a pause, then down it goes. And we could put in four, three, zero, four hundred for now. And still in FM, let's see if it finds anything. It might find my DMR 
hotspot. We might even find hubnet. We're in FM mode. Um, okay, and then the blue key was the menu, and the orange key is the back. So, yeah, excellent. I think this is really good. I mean, fact, remember, it's, this is an amazing radio anyway. There's your AB with the hash. And we go into the normal, oops, pressing the normal menu. If you press and hold the the blue, it turns the Bluetooth on and off for app programming, and you can actually use OD Master and use your computer to program this via Bluetooth, mind. And then you go menu, menu, uh, radio settings, and they are vast. Back. Let me turn on that speaker a minute. Bluetooth mode. There's my little flashy speaker. <laughs> I just wonder if it will pair with it. But anyway, let's just go um, back. All the, I mean, these are new menus. Analog set, radio info, scan, Bluetooth, menu. You've got different modes. Now, it is on. Let's go exit with the orange button. Bluetooth mode. Emitter or receiver. So I'm not really sure which one to select Confirm. right now. But we'll, uh, you know, we're just looking, aren't we? Bluetooth known, Bluetooth pairing. Searching, let's see if it finds that speaker. Just here. I have made videos already pairing all this kind of stuff, but just while we're here, why not? There you are, it's found something. Let's click OK. Bluetooth connected. connected. Okay, it says it did connect, you heard that. But let's see if it, if we can actually get onto a station that's active. So we'll go. Yes, it is working. I could hear it. So let me uh, get some better activity. Actually, no, let's try the... Let's see what happens when we go in the scope. Let's go like so. Scope, then we'll go one, three, three, eight, five, zero. Let it scan. Seeing if it's coming out of this. Ah, we'll see it. We're in FM there. Go back to AM. Select me. Blue. Select. I hear that crackly noise. This is the problem we get with the Bofung. With the Bofung airband. It's got that crackly noise. That's because we're hearing, even though they've labelled it AM, we're actually hearing FM. So they need to sort that. Um, let me find one of my Bluetooth microphones here. Runway 27 backtrack has required. Just wait, five, five, so I've noticed that in Spectrum, the, the, uh, the Bluetooth speaker isn't being used. Spectrum's working great. Uh, let's back out and let's try it in. Uh, let's see what happens now. Yeah, as soon as I go into normal mode, I better turn it down. You see it has got a slider. It started working, so there's a small bug on the Spectrum scope. Now, I've dug out a Bluetooth mic here. I don't know if you're going to be able to pair both. So what we'll do is turn the speaker off and have a go with my B01. Now, they have made, TRD Radio have made a Bluetooth microphone, which I've got here somewhere. Um, but we know that one's going to work. I'm trying to test one that doesn't work. Right, it's disconnected. We're going to go Bluetooth. Menu. And we'll do the pairing thing again. Got SMS, did you notice that? Uh, oh, going the wrong way. I mean, look at all this. Pairing. Pairable. See if it finds the B01. I mean, it might... Quite often they work as a speaker. It's just whether they work as a a PTT. So it has found it. Click OK. Bluetooth connected. And I hear it beep, so I know it's connected. I can hear that it's connected. So yeah, it's definitely connected as a speaker, but PTT no. Let's uh, go menu. And uh, then we'll go to back to pairing and we'll look for PTT. It does say OD, I don't really know what that means to be honest. 
Yeah. Okay, well, I think that's enough for this video. Bluetooth internal mic. Bluetooth internal speaker. Bluetooth mic gain speaker. Internal mic. Let's just select it a minute. Oh, it's on, so yeah, well, I need to tinker around and I'm going to test it on my car as well because in my car I only really want it to pair as a as a speaker anyway. I, maybe I could turn on the Vox. And like I said, TRD Radio make a really good microphone as well that does actually pair with more, with more things than just this radio. Um, and it's not actually that expensive. You buy the radio and the mic in one hit. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. All the best.